Good morning. We're in our hotel room and this oh, yeah. is our view. It is nine o'clock. I've been up for, I don't know, since about maybe an hour. I would like to watch the sunrise either tomorrow or the next day. Now we're going to go to breakfast. Just some of us. All right, we went to Yummy's Bistro right there on the island. If you ever go, you if you ever go to South Padre, you need to go here. They have a robust menu with breakfast and lunch items. It was fantastic. That is the Spanish macchiato, which is what I got. It was amazing. All the kids got smoothies or chocolate shakes of some sort. Um, those some of those were strawberry smoothies. Those were pretty popular. Uh, they were fantastic. They raved about them and loved them they did not disappoint absolutely delicious and then our food was so so good look at that yum very delicious those waffles were amazing two kids got waffles she got pancakes those were the thickest most perfect pancakes i've ever seen that was my breakfast it was fantastic and then there was the french toast absolutely amazing Okay, so when we got back, we took the kids to the beach. Now, four of the older boys and both dads, they went on a guided fishing tour, I guess you would call it. I've got some pictures of that. I'll show you in a minute. But here we go. We're going out to the beach, and let me just tell you, wear your shoes. My 13-year-old refused to go back and get his shoes in the room, and boy, did he regret it. He thought he could just run real fast, and it was a lot warmer and longer than he thought it would be, and he regretted it. The sand right here when we first came off of the walkway, the wood walkway, was super hot. So I guess it was just the position of the sun that time of day because when we left, it wasn't as hot. The family that we went with went down and put up the canopy so that we could stay out of the sun as needed and kind of reserve our spot. The kids absolutely, my kids love the water. So the area that, we, that they were playing in, like we were out there in the water with them, we told them how far they could go. Um, eventually Luke Henry and Jack put on uh, some life jackets but it's not deep there at all like they're crouching down a little bit but also they're riding the waves as they come in it's pro it's below my knee right there um, but they had a blast and Matthew is our kid that just loves the water and loves playing on those boards whether we go to Galveston or whatever body of water we go to uh, ocean wise but the kids absolutely loved it they were playing in the sand and having a great time enough fun for the moment we've been out here for a couple of hours right yeah. joseph we're gonna go back into the hotel we are hot and ready to rest and rinse off so we took showers got all the sand off of us um actually when you come off of the beach there they have things to rinse off but then we all came home and took showers washed our hair etc and some of the kids wanted some cereal they were hungry <laughs> um you know they worked up an appetite out there so we had a bowl of cereal and um relaxed a little bit and just chilled before we went out and did some touristy things like souvenir shops so as i was telling you in the last video these shops like this are everywhere i can't even say they're on every corner there's like multiple on every corner so there's no reason to go to south padre and not leave with a souvenir if you are a person who likes to grab souvenirs they had shirts they have i love personalized stuff like this i never i usually don't buy it but i always look for her names on stuff i found mine in matthews so that was pretty fun so not only did they have souvenir type things but they also had swimsuits and like shirts that you know those shirts that are made out of that material that kind of protect you from this those right there that are stretchy and protect you from the sun they had that kind of stuff their prices were very reasonable we went because we needed to get matthew another pair of shoes that he could take out into the sand and not get it all in his shoes uh like his vans so he was a little ill prepared with his packing my older kids are responsible for packing themselves and yeah, we probably need to work on that. So um, those were like 10 bucks a pair. And then we headed over to an amazing ice cream place. This ice cream place was right next to Blackbeard's where we went the night before in the previous video. And this was all gelato, 
really yummy flavors. The place was super clean. The staff was so friendly and so helpful. The kids could try as many as they wanted to. I ended up getting the pina colada that was back over there. Luke Henry got the mango. Jack got the Gatorade, which is that green one. And then I think Matthew just got vanilla and Joseph, our friend, got, I believe, chocolate. Super delicious. It was a great experience. We loved it and it was nice and cool. And this place was attached to the souvenir shop that we went into. So while we were at the beach, the teenagers, the t four of the teenage boys went boating. They went with a boat guide and they went fishing with the dads. So they had a blast and we ended up taking that food, that fish and cooking it for dinner. But first, some of the grownups needed to go to the grocery store. There is an IGA grocery store on the island. We passed it in the first video when I was showing you some of the street um, or some of the things there on the city street. This was a really fun grocery store to me. When I was growing up, I lived in a small town called Joshua, Texas, and they had an IGA grocery store. And this brought back total 1989 vibes to me. Um, it was just like this very small vintage grocery store vintage for me like you know i'm in my mid 40s um but it was so cool to go in this store i loved it our store was so much like this except it did not have the fish hanging on the wall <laughs> the taxidermy fish um but yeah we got everything that we needed so that we could cook dinner um, we all kind of teamwork made the dream work and we all cooked dinner so that then we could go out and watch fireworks on the beach. So this was Clayton's, which is apparently the biggest bar on the beach. I don't know. I think that's what the cup said. I'll have to go look. We brought one of the cups home, but it technically was, um, you know, there was a place that you could order drinks if you wanted to. There was live music. There were just, it was family friendly though. There were lots of people there. And right there off of the pier, we were able to watch fireworks. Literally, they were right above us. We had the best view. But we had to wait a little bit. The teenagers were playing. What is that game where you guess what's on their head? Uh, words, whatever. They had a fun time. But yeah, here we go. The fireworks were awesome. I totally recommend this. <music> Okay, and then the teenagers and a couple of the adults did a conga line around the place. It was pretty fun. It was fun to watch them. Me and the three teenagers are headed to breakfast. So crazy enough, they recognized Nick and I, and they said, y'all were here yesterday and you sat outside, so let's sit you inside today. Nick and I had really talked it up about how great the food was here, so the other boys were really excited to give it a try. They slept in the day before. So here we are. Um, I got that Spanish macchiato again. So good, get it if you go. So, so amazing. And then Luke got a frozen hot chocolate shake, which was really good, and we got a fruit platter. And then remind me in a minute, I'll tell you about that picture. I got the Migos for breakfast, fantastic. That hot sauce was pretty hot. And they all got the waffles, super yum. So while we were here, Lenny was back at the place packing up because there's drama after this that I'll have to tell you about. But we enjoyed the conversations and Matthew was in love with that artwork that was done by a local artist and it was a replica or a representation of one of the SpaceX exhibits so super cool all right guys so here's what happened mosquito. it's mosquito haven haven or heaven whichever one i don't know so we um 
we thought that we were going to be able to get our hotel room for one more night they had given us an efficiency they were hoping that something would work out where we would actually get to keep our suite and um and then worst case scenario they would give us two efficiencies well at the end of the day only one efficiency came open we were last minute in scheduling everything so it's on us right but we thought that the efficiencies would work but then they only had one they didn't have two have gone across the bridge to port isabella is that the name of it yeah and port isabel port isabel sorry and we've been on airbnb trying to find like they're wanting to do hotel rooms for 800 dollars a night right now our place doesn't have anything but the ones that do they're wanting to charge like 800 dollars, which i get it it's all last minute i understand we knew coming here that we were either gonna have to leave today or see if our current hotel could give us could accommodate and from the get-go they really thought they could and they worked as hard as they could to make it happen it just didn't happen so we um opposed to paying 800 dollars for two hotel rooms um at another facility we got on airbnb and we found a um three bedroom we found a three bedroom apartment with a full kitchen and, and actually see the water in the back we're right off of the water and we did fish and we're headed back to south padre so now come along with us to and we're going to show stuff. you yeah okay so i'm going to show you the state of the little efficiency room and why it won't work for us okay, yeah. ready here's the tour Our room's car small. And you're done. There is no way seven people could sleep in here. We can't even unload all of our stuff. This kid, he was driving me crazy. He needed to do his daily push-ups and sit-ups and pull-up bar stuff. And oh my goodness. So he had us count for him. And you're going to see his back. It's covered in mosquito bites from that first night that we went out to get the shells near the sand dunes. Oh my goodness. But... He got those push-ups in before we got out of that efficiency. So all is well in the world. My goodness. So here we go. Here is the three-story condo apartment what have you that we rented it was gorgeous and phenomenal absolutely wonderful so i'm just going to take you for a quick tour as you walk in um you have seen this drops you right off to the back deck here that is where the everybody could fish and um just absolutely gorgeous so as you come in that door you come through the kitchen through the dining room and then that's like the seating area this is where the full-on washer and dryer are and you guys know how i feel about washers and dryers whenever you are on vacation needing to do your laundry. This was just a hidden space. The kids, it's under the stairs space. Um, yeah, the kids were very intrigued by that. Um, it had lots of different dishes and things that were, it was fully equipped. So one bathroom downstairs, uh, you know, all the things we could possibly need. Lenny and the teenagers were bringing in all of the luggage and we'll go up to the next story. Tell you as cool as a three-story house is, it's terrible as a grown-up having to go up and down all those stories of stairs. So this is the room that we slept in, super nice. It had a bathroom attached with a gorgeous shower. I should have really done a better job recording that, but I was pretty exhausted from those stairs because I had already gone up and down them many times. It had full closet space in each room. I mean, these were apartments you could live in. They were very spacious and very nice. This was the other bathroom that was on the second story that was perfect for two of the kids that slept in this room. Um, again, another full closet in there, TVs in every room. And now we'll go up to the third story. I have never seen so many stairs in all my life. I would not want to live permanently in a three-story house. Then this was a super cool room. So it slept multiple people on the bunk beds there because that's a full-size bunk bed and then a twin, plus that couch, plus that bed. That couch, I can't remember if it pulls out or not into a bed. I don't think it does, but um, yeah, all of that space, super awesome. So the ups, the third story doesn't have a bathroom, but there are three other bathrooms throughout the house. So it was amazing. We absolutely loved it. And then they did some fishing off of the porch or the balcony. 
And then do you see that fish? Oh, is it a fish? It's something. Those are everywhere in South Padre, all over the place. We saw them over and over again. I was getting a little bit of work done while Jack sat out on the balcony and literally told our entire life story to the two little girls that were in the condo or the apartment next to us. Like, I think he was even giving them our blood type. He was telling them everything, where we lived, where, what we do, like any detail, Jack was telling them. I get so caught up in the middle. Just couldn't get over the gorgeous view. I absolutely loved it. This was as the sun was starting to go down. So stunning. And then there's neighbors next to us. So there were four or five condo apartments that were three stories right there in uh, that one building. And I mean, it was just such a beautiful view of everything as the sun was going down and you've got that view right there off of the living room. We loved it. Then we started preparing for dinner and cooking for a crowd and our friends uh, came and we all had dinner together. And you can tell me plenty of room for everyone we cooked a full meal we had we just used up all the leftover food that we had plus um, made a lasagna so the leftover fruit that we had bought at the grocery store the day before some leftover shrimp scampi from the day before and then made a lasagna and just like all hodgepodge <laughs> gathered everything that was left over and made a delicious yummy dinner and it was great I love stuff like this I love it these are the memories that I want to make with my family. I absolutely loved it. Here we are, the sun has gone down. It is gorgeous outside. I was obsessed with this view. But look, I'm gonna zoom in. Do you see all those moving lights? Those are cars on the bridge from South Padre to Port Isabel. Seriously, there are times of day where that bridge is full of cars. That's one thing I would not like about living there. But we ended the night with this gorgeous view and with a, I guess it was a party boat coming through. The music was loud, people were laughing. They were having such a great time. And it was just such a cool view to be a part of. All right, guys, we'll be back with part three that will wrap up our South Padre vacation. You'll get to see us spend the day in Port Isabel and have lots of fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.